Working with a document created in a previous version of Word is easy in Word 2007. Let's take a look at how this works. Here's a document open in Word 2003. Now, open the document in Word 2007. Here's what that document looks like, the same as it did in Word 2003. Notice the words Compatibility Mode in the title. Edit in this mode if you want to enable others using previous versions of Word to also edit the file. You can still choose commands from the Office 2007 ribbon, although some new features in Word 2007 aren't available to you, like themes or equations. Once you do convert the file to Word 2007 format, these and other cool features will be ready to go. And as an added bonus, your file size instantly gets smaller. To convert, click the Microsoft Office button and then click Convert. Starting with this diagram, notice that it turned into a smart art graphic, so you'll see some differences like the changes in color and text. Oh, and see these smart art tools? They let you get creative with the diagram. Watch. Click the Design tab, and in the Smart Art Styles group, click a 3D style. It's just as easy to change the colors. Click Change Colors, and choose from the gallery of color sets. Here's something else you can do with your document in Word 2007 format. Pull a quote like this into a text box. Click the Insert tab, and in the text group, click the text box arrow to choose from a gallery of built-in text boxes. Just paste the text and drag the text box to where you want it on the page. Notice that Word automatically displays the Text Box Tools tab with a whole range of features at your fingertips. For example, on the Format tab, click Shape Fill and click a color to brighten up the text box. Now, let's suppose you want to insert an equation. No problem. On the Insert tab, in the Symbols group, use the handy Equation Tools. Just click the Equation Down arrow and click Insert New Equation. Use the structures shown here to format your equation. How about adding a footer now? On the Insert tab in the Header and Footer group, click the Footer Down arrow to choose from this gallery of built-in footers. You've seen just a few examples of what you can do in Word 2007. When you're finished modifying your document, click the Microsoft Office button and then click Save to name and save the document in Word 2007 file format. What you see now is what you'll see when you open your document again in Word 2007 file format. You can still save a copy of the document that's compatible with earlier versions of Word. Just click the Microsoft Office button, point to Save As, and then click Word 97, 2003 format. The compatibility checker appears because some of the Word 2007 features aren't supported by earlier versions of Word. This lists the features that will be lost or downgraded when you save the document in an earlier format. You can click the Help link to find out more about a feature. Click Continue if you want to save the file anyway. In this earlier file format, notice that the content of the diagram can't be edited and the equation can't be edited and features such as themes are no longer available. So, if you're going to need to work on a document using an earlier version of Word, 
It's best to stay in compatibility mode when using Word 2007. That way you don't accidentally add features that the earlier version won't support. So, as you can see, whichever format works best for your situation, Word 2007 has you covered.